DJ Mikey Mike and Direct Sound, and we're doing Show Express 6.0. I'm going to build a quick scene. I have my 3D viewer set up. I worked on that last night. I got all my fixtures in the right location. Take a quick look at that. Here is the look of my 3D viewer. I have my parkan set around the room. Uh, I haven't colored them all yet, but uh, so you see the gray parkans around the room. Moving heads on vertical trussing. And if we zoom in, you'll see parkans inside the trussing. Um, I have a couple lights on top of the trussing here that are uh, my star balls. Uh, color strips across the back truss. And uh, those are my Revos, color strips on the truss. I put some plants up, a couple of speakers. Uh, make it look really cool. Uh, that's kind of basically the way I set up most weddings. Uh, and it should work out pretty good for me. There's a few extra lights that are up on the top ceiling. Those are actually my strobes, my LED strobes, and my UV washes that I'm not going to be using. Or when I use them, it's not that critical. Uh, so I can actually program them from the top of the ceiling, and it's no big deal. Uh, but I can set them around the room if I like. Okay, so uh, we're going to shrink this down. We're going to build one quick light scene uh, and uh, give you, show you how to do it. And I'm just going to work with the park hands right now. Now, I built a few groups. Here's my group list. Uh, star balls are on B shortcut, color strip C, DMX dimmers are D, uh, even park hands are E, uh, snow machine, laser, moving heads are M, odd park hands are O, and all park hands are P for park hands. That's how I do it. Just to make it simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my shortcut key. I'm going to hit P for park hands. And if you notice in the 2D viewer, all my park hands are selected. So now all I have to do is go to my little red button to 3D viewer mode. That activates the 3D viewer. So what we see in the 3D viewer is actually going to happen. I go to my dimmer uh, slide lever on my park hand, slide that up, and then I go to my color that I want to go to. I'm going to make these red. Slide up the red. As you notice, the room slides up red. Everything in the 3D viewer is now red. Okay, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to select a uh, hotkey for my odd park hands. And now it just selected every other park hand. So now I'm going to drop down the odd park hands. As you can see, every other park hand in the 3D view went down. And I'm going to put up green. So we're going to make this red and green just like a Christmas color. Okay. So now you can see red and green in the room. All red and green, really cool. Okay, and that's the first scene. That's actually at five seconds step. These little zigzags here means it's going to fade, uh, snap to the next scene. If I want these to go fade, like slowly fade from red to green to blue or to whatever, then you click on this bottom part to a slide, uh, an angle, and it will that will fade to the next color instead of snap to the next color. Okay, so right now I have a duration set at five seconds. I'm going to make this a long fade at 10 seconds. Go to 10. And then I'm going to add a step. Right here it says insert step. Click. So now from 10 seconds to the next scene will be whatever I change it to. So I'm going to change it from, uh, oh, I'm going to go back to all park hands. Fade the red down. And the green is up. Let's fade the green back up and down. Okay, so now I catch them all. Now everything's down. I'm going to make them... Oh, let's go to the, the color strip here. So all you have to do is click the color uh, little box up here. And you can select just by using the color wheel. So I'm going to make them all purple now. I'm going to add a step. And that's going to be a 10 second fade. And, oh, I forgot to select these uh, bottom things to make them uh, fade slowly. Uh, if not, they'll snap. And then I'm going to save this. Uh, how can I save this? Uh, up here, top of save. Uh, save light scene. Okay, what's this say? Save as. Okay, save light scene. Okay, I'm going to save as. It's going to ask me what? I'm going to say uh, par red green purple. P U R. Okay. Oh, gee. Sure. 
Okay, this is what I'm going to say with that, just for a test. Hit save. Okay, now if I want to play that in the 3D room, all I have to do is hit play, and now it's going to fade. Every 10 seconds, it's going to start changing, as you can see it do it in the room. Now you can actually show this to a client. You can completely set up your room in the 3D viewer, have them come over to your office, hit play, and all of a sudden, they can exa see exactly what their wedding is going to look like. You can hit cake table, all your lights will spin around, focus right to the cake table. You can say it's time for the grand entrance, and bam, you can just select, put a little door uh, mimicked in your room, and bam, that's where they're all going to focus to on the uh, grand entrance. All kinds of cool stuff you can do with the 3D viewer. So that's how you build a light scene, a uh, quick little light scene with Show Express 6.0. Hope that helps out. And then you just go to stop, little square button to stop your scene. It all goes to uh, to the rest. Now, if we're playing a scene and say, or, uh, oh, let's go to live mode real quick. And I'll show you how to load a scene to live mode. If I can find my live screen. There it is. Okay, we're going to take it to live mode. Now, okay, here's the live mode. Uh, we have uh, file, quit. We have options of four boards. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't messed with this too much. But right click on the uh, tab right here on number one and then add a light scene. We're going to add the red and purple and that's going to create its own button and when you click on it it will turn on and off the light scene. So if we go to our 3D viewer again I'll show you the light scene turn on if I can figure out how to do that. Okay, first off we have to go back here and turn off the 3D viewer in the editor mode and turn on the 3D viewer in the live page and now it will sync up with the 3D viewer. So now when I hit play, my scene starts playing in the 3D viewer. Okay? Uncheck that, turns off. If I right click on it, it gives me different properties. I can change the color of the button. I can change the speed. Now right now the auto BPM isn't well, working in 6.0 yet, but you can change it to auto BPM. It'll pick up the microphone in your laptop and your lights will go to sound active mode. Okay, or you can do manual BPM and tap the little drum here and you can set it to a manual BPM mode. Right now it's just at manual speed. You can slide the slide lever over and back and it'll speed up and slow down. Okay, uh, also you can do, uh, you can loop these buttons. If there was four or five light scenes in a row, you can hit to loop and it would go from uh, your first light scene to your next light scene to your next light scene and so on. Or you can turn two of them on at a time and they'll both chase down the row. Pretty neat. Uh, you can make it a flash button, so say if you just wanted to uh, make this a, if this is your strobe button, you can set strobe to flash, and when you push on the strobe uh, button, it'll only flash until you let it off, and then it'll stop. So uh, that's pretty much it right there. Now, a couple other cool features in here, but we won't go over those right now. Uh, we're about eight minutes into our video, so we're going to stop it right here. Uh, hopefully you uh, got a little bit out of this video. Once again, hit the button. Oh, we're on pause. I don't know why that happened. Oh, because I hit this button right here. Uh, and then that will run the, the uh, scene. Okay, so we're going to X out of that. Oh, it looks like it's turned, completely turned off your uh, connection. So that's pretty neat. They, they've, they've, done, they've done a lot of cool stuff with this new program. Uh, some linking and some things. It's pretty nice. So uh, let's X out of this. And uh, this is DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. Show Express 6.0. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, it's a really cool program. It looks really nice. The layout's a little different, but uh, as soon as you get your head wrapped around it, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, as soon as they get all the features uh, populated into the new program, uh, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, a couple things that I notice when I right-click on my, for example, my moving heads, um, when I right-click on the color thing, now I have to go to Show Values, which before when you right-clicked on it, it showed you the values. Now I have to go through another step, which is kind of a, a pain. Now I don't know of any other way to, I don't know what all these uh, steps mean here yet, so I, I'll have to figure that out, but I haven't got to play with that. Anyway, uh, DJ Mike and Mike, Direct Sound, doing it from scratch with Show Express 6.0. Peace!